welcome to a four-wheel combination padlock that was sent to me by Suspis. Yeah. Buddy, thank you very much for the lock. I'm always excited to try out new combination padlocks. Yeah, Suspis did not change the combination, so it's all Cirrus, the current code. And I've not yet tried to decode it. So, first time for me, first time for you. Shuffle the wheels to achieve a new random code. Make sure the wheels are at a whole number and not in between. I think. Yeah, that's okay. Now shuffle the wheels again and we're ready to go for a little decoding session. Okay. <clears throat> I pull on the shackle and turn the first wheel. No resistance at all. Second wheel, no resistance. Third wheel, no resistance. Fourth wheel, there is a lot of resistance, so this is my first binder. And I got stuck here at 6, so I turn it further and it stops at 8 again. So that tells me it has false gates. To get it out of 8 was a little bit harder. But I'm not sure if this is really significant. I would say 8 is a good number. I bet the next binder is this. It shows some resistance. And Okay, I've played with the other wheels and now it seems that 3 and 2 is in a gate and 1 is now also in a gate. Okay, now we have achieved all wheels um, to be set into a gate with a last and pretty uh, confident. The third seems also showing quite some play. The second not. So I turn it to the next number. Let's see. Okay. The first is binding a little bit better. <laughs> and now we are open. Okay. Seems like I have set the code to 5038. It's not a difficult pick, so to speak. The difference between true and false gates are very obvious. It's a fun lock to decode. Um, yeah, I always like to play with new locks and um, I've not yet played with a Sang lock before. <laughs> All right, Saspes, thank you very much for the lock. Everybody else, thanks for watching. Happy picking and decoding. Cheers and bye-bye.